Hey guys, Crypto Carl here. Just want to give a quick overview of COA. Um, basically, how to get started and how to play it. So, you need 500,000 uh, of the champs token um, and you will be able to connect your wallet. So, I'll skip this once you've got the 500,000 balance. Just click connect wallet. Um, you'll basically be able to roll a character when you first log in. Um, you'll have a little thing here that says roll character. You can do this five times with a 500,000 balance of champs um, and you would get random people. So we've got an alchemist here. Um, this is this section here is their action points. So that's how many actions they can take per day. So fighting requires one action point. Exploring is two action points and foraging is 10 action points. Um, so if you used to do fights, you can do 10 fights per day. Every new day, this obviously gets um, topped back up. You've got your health points, um, 19 of 19, your strength and your defense. So each each character you get is going to be random. So you can see this one's got more, more health um, than the first one. Um, this one's got a better defense, 2.5 and so on. Um, now you can actually get equipment that will put up their, it's like a modifier that will put up their base attack. So if we go over to marketplace, um, you will see here crooked stick will give you one base attack. It's going to cost you 49 spores. Now spores is the in-game currency. So when you first start, you'll have a balance of zero. And when you fight or explore, you can, if you win a fight, you can um, get, get this balance topped up. You usually get like two two spores per fight um, sometimes more depending on who you're fighting um, this is your if we go back to the character this is your your health here so after every fight you normally need to heal which costs around two spores but again you win spores for for fighting so that's not normally a problem and the bottom bar is your experience and at some point you'll be able to um, level up your character so we're just going to go with this one first. We're going to have a quick fight, show you what it looks like. So you've got a few options here. You've got your normal attack and then you've got your heavy attack. Now the heavy attack does more damage, but there's, from what I remember, I think there's a 60% chance of missing. Um, so let's just start on the normal attack. Click the attack button. So I attacked him. He lost some points. He attacked me and missed. So you just you can just keep doing this till the fight's done, or you can click this button up here, which will just automatically keep fighting for you. So we we'll let that carry on. Looks like we're winning. Okay, so that's died. Let's see what we get. Okay, so we got 10 spores in total. We got a bit of um, experience, two experience, and we regenerated some hit points. So we'll click on exit, and you can see there's there's my health. Um, as I said, we tend to heal. This doesn't cost any action points, but it will use the spore balance, which we just got 10 there. So we will do that. And We'll do an explore this time. You decided to head out to your favourite place in Arborethia. Only a few minutes east lies a mossy clearance, so serene and mystic. You can sit there for hours, and so you do. You feel your body recovering in this pe peaceful atmosphere. So we've got some hit points, got some experience, didn't get any spores on this one. And from what I've kind of read from the documentation, um, I'm still pretty new to this, so don't take this as gospel, but starting out, you it's better to fight and get the experience and level up these characters and, and get the spores basically. So um, what have we looked at? So you, you can also stake your coins as well. Um, again, you, you might need to read up on the docs on this, on this, um, on this little bit. What else have we got? So yes, yeah, so we've got the burn leaderboard. These are you could you get a chance to burn your spores if I click on the spores thing just here. 
you can burn your spores every day, which will increase the daily champs buy back and burn. Um, tells you a little bit of information about that and who's burnt what today. Um, so you can burn all your spurs if you want, whatever. Um, but I think in, in the early days, you're best saving these up um, and leveling up your characters and buying the modifiers um, until you start earning decent amount of spores each day. Then you can start to burn them, which will help um, lower the supply of, of champs, increasing the, the price of it, hopefully. Um, so we've got a leaderboard here. There's also a chance of a daily eth drop package again I've, I've not got into this too much so i need to do a lot more reading on this but i just really wanted to show you like how to play the game if you're completely lost and you're new to this um just so you can get started pretty quickly so i hope that helps somebody um i'll do another tutorial when i figure out a bit more about it but that should get you started okay guys thanks a lot